Have you ever been wondering sometimes when you think about magnets? If we get a magnet and then maybe sometime we just try to experiment, we cut it into some parts or break it into some parts. What will be the poles produced on these other smaller magnets that we have? Will they still maintain B north and south or some of them will just lose magnetism? Welcome to Z Online School and in today's lesson we'll be looking at the domain theory of magnetism. By the end of this lesson you know what the domain theory is, you'll be able to understand and know where you can find domains and dipoles, the effect of the domain theory in magnetism. And at the end of this video we've got a bonus tip for you under the topic of magnetism. The domain theory states that inside the magnet there are small regions where we find atoms whose magnetic directions are aligned in the same way. This means that for every magnet you will find, the atoms in it which have got magnetic direction have been aligned in the same way. If a material has these atoms not aligned in the same way, that material won't be a magnet. To get an understanding of more about the domain theory, in this lesson, we've decided we look at domains and dipoles. Domains are those regions where we find those atoms with a magnetic direction. They are just regions, boundaries where we find similar atoms that have got magnetic direction. These regions in this diagram show some representation of how domains will look like in a magnet. Dipoles are simply just those atoms with a magnetic direction in a magnet. Most commonly, you can think of them as tiny magnets in a magnet. If we were to illustrate this in a diagram, we'll have our domains, that would be the regions where these dipoles are found, and then we'll have our dipoles pointing in a particular direction. In this diagram, I'll be trying to illustrate a magnet that has been magnetized fully. The arrows that are just shown there in the diagram are trying to represent these particles or atoms in a magnet which we are calling dipoles. If you can see, each line is parallel to each other. This is how the dipoles are in each of these domains. They might be pointing in a different direction when it's not magnetized, but they are always parallel to each other. Therefore, in this diagram, all the dipoles will be pointing towards the right. Therefore, the right part in this case can be considered to be a north pole. Dipoles in an unmagnetized material also have a certain pattern. They have a pattern that shows the dipoles are cancelling each other. If we have dipoles pointing in this direction, we have the others pointing in the opposite direction. Therefore, there will be no magnetic effect made by these dipoles. In an unmagnetized material, the dipoles will be forming loops or just simply cancelling each other. Now, what is the effect of the domain theory when we're thinking about magnetism? Well, the effect is simple. When a magnet is cut in too many parts, because we know the domain theory, we can understand why each part will have similar poles to the magnet from which they were cut from. Therefore, if we had a bar magnet like this, which was cut into some parts like that, each of these parts will have the poles similar to the magnet from which they were cut from. If this was a north-south magnet, each of those parts we've cut out will be also north-south. Why is this so? It's because of those particles we said, the dipoles. The dipoles cause all this magic to happen. When we cut it, we're just saying, reduce the size of this magnet, but keep the dipoles in the same direction. The only thing that can change the direction of dipoles is the methods of demagnetization. If you don't know what these methods are, you can check out our video under magnetization. Now, what should you always remember when you're thinking about the domain theory or magnetism in general? When we manage to make all the dipoles in a particular magnetic material point in the same direction, 
there's a scientific term which we use to refer to this state. It's known as magnetic saturation. This is a point when all the dipoles are aligned in the same direction and the magnetic material cannot undergo any magnetization. If you still don't know what magnetization is, be sure to check out our magnetization video. Thanks for reaching till the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel if you haven't yet subscribed, or sharing this video to those people you think it might be helpful. See you in the next video.